Okay, we're going to talk a little bit about multiplying polynomials. I'm going to, we do two different methods in class, one of them where we draw a box and the other one where we just uh, draw some arrows to show how we're distributing. I'm going to do one using each method, but you're free to use whichever method you like better. So if I'm using my box method, remember I basically need to put uh, my first thing going down the front of the box. So that's a 4x and a plus 11 if I was going to do number 5. 4x plus 11, and then I put my second thing on top of the box, so that's an x minus 1. I'm going to switch colors so this stands out a little bit better. And now what I just do is multiply. So 4x times x is 4x squared. And then 4x times negative 1 is negative 4x. 11 times x is 11x. And then 11 times negative 1 is negative 11. Look for any like terms, and if you use the box method, the like terms, if they're there, will usually be diagonal across from each other like that. So your final answer is 4x squared. Put together 11x minus 4x is 7x, and then minus 11. It's worth mentioning now, when I multiply x times x, I get an x squared. But when I add these x's, the 11x and the minus 4x, the uh, exponent stays the same. So when you multiply, you end up... Um, Getting a different exponent when you multiply variables, when you add or subtract, they have to start the same being like terms and then they stay the same in your final answer. That's how you work one using the box method. I'm going to go ahead and uh, clear the screen now. If you need to pause the video, you can, and then we'll look at number nine using the other method. Okay, on number nine, uh, this one we're going to look at um, the distributing method. And basically, when I do the distributing method, I just say I'm going to take the x and multiply it by everything in this parenthesis. Let's try to draw that a little bit more neatly. So x gets multiplied by x, and x gets multiplied by negative one-fourth. So that means I start off with a x squared minus one-fourth x. Then I'm going to switch colors so it stands out a little bit. I take the negative 7 fourths. I usually draw a little bracket there just to show that I'm not just multiplying 7 fourths, but I'm multiplying the entire negative 7 fourths times x and times negative 1 fourth. So negative 7 fourths times x is negative 7 fourths x. And then a negative times a negative is a positive. And then 7 fourths times a 1 fourth is 7 over 16. Now, when I uh, combine my like terms together, uh, what I'm going to end up doing is, uh, the way I wrote this is so that my two like terms are already stacked on top of each other, makes it very easy to see. So I have an x squared there, and then I have a negative 1 fourth and negative 7 fourths would be negative 8 fourths which just reduces to negative 2x. So sometimes you might wonder where that fraction goes. Well, sometimes you get something that comes out pretty and reduces, so the fraction's gone. So x squared minus 2x and then plus 7 over 16. Nothing to make that go away. So I hope that helps you with that one. We're going to try one more of these that looks a little bit bigger if we have time. Okay, number 12 might look a little bit scary, but uh, if you're doing the distributed method, you would just multiply the x times everything, or, and then you would multiply uh, the 5, in this case, positive 5 times everything. So let's start by multiplying the x through first. x times x squared is x to the third. You just add 1 to the exponent when you multiply by x. Then plus x times 4x is 4x squared x times 4 is 4x. We'll switch to my green color. Uh, 5 times x is 5x squared. And notice how I, if I start lining it up, it'll line up nicely the whole problem. 5 times uh, 4x is 20x. And then 5 times 4 is 20. Then just add your like terms together. So your final answer becomes a x to the third 4 plus 5 is 9x squared. 4 plus 20 is 24x. And that gives you a plus 20 on the end. And that is what you have. Now, if you were going to do the box on number 12, you could just put what's in front in this and just make an extra column. That way you can fit the whole thing here. And the box would also work doing this way you just had some extra stuff and you'd leave look